Oh, Three, shit. Two, I definitely ain't the one. best. I ain't never claimed to be. Just a never Joe. They doubt and overlook, underestimated me. But shit, I ain't tripping. If you're with me, then you're with me. So bet we gon' eat. Yeah, I am what I am, and that's all I'm gonna be. Little spinach, olive oil, vinaigrette, body cheese. Rib by reverse it, lemonade, fresh squeeze. Family hella flavor, hella flavor on our jeans. Yeah, they say they've been eating, but they fit skinny jeans. Jay, a well fed big boy, your man squeeze. Yeah. A bad man pajama, cat's pajamas. Yeah, you know the bee's knees. Organic when it comes. Joey Organic in the chop shop, chopping it up with City Boy Chop. Tap in. That's Joey. Life camera action. Finna turn up till we can't no more. Pass a lie, burn it down. Drink up till it ain't no more. It's showtime. We live. Yes, sir. Hit the like, share, comment, subscribe. Chop Shop Podcast. I got my partner in here, man. Go let, let him introduce himself. What's good? Man. Joey Organic, guy moms wish they daughters met first instead of their lame ass baby dads. Uh. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, <laughs> shit. <clears throat> Man, first off, get the people, uh, you know what I'm saying, where you from? Tulsa, Oklahoma, born and raised, you know, OK, LA, 918, TULSA, Don and Blue and Gold till my dying day. Rep the town, you know what I'm saying? From, you know, first in Harvard, you know what I'm saying? Right there, midtown. Okay. So what made you get in, into the music, man? Man, I've just always been into music. Just always my, you know, family always did something musically. You know, grandpa sang, played all sorts of instruments. My dad played guitar. Oh, okay. You know, all that, all that good stuff. And I just kind of, I, I played the drums in high school. I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get into jazz, man. That was a cool thing in my school. I went to Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences, so we didn't have no sports or nothing. Oh, okay. So, like, he was either, like, in the plays or in the band or something. So, I was, I went, I, I taught myself how to play the drums so I could be in jazz band. And then, I just started kind of naturally, like, wanting to sing and started rapping and doing shit like that. And then it just kind of happened, you know, getting to where I'm at now. That's what's up. Why you ain't doing that now? I didn't know you played well, drums. I mean, I do kind of, I mean, I do what it's asked of me. Shit, I be going out, I be going out like on, uh, you know, Monday, Thursday nights down at the rabbit hole. Some of the homies be throwing, like, they got the jam night on Thursday night, and then they got the, uh, this, the, what's it, the, uh, solution. And you play drums? I go up there and get on the drums. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I get up there and I'll be, hey, be, be fucking with the, I'll be fucking with the band. I've been trying to get, get, like, you know, get to where I can do shit with the band, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. sing and rap with the band and shit. So I just been, I be trying to just get, be dipping my, you know, toes into whatever I get into. Alright, that's what's up. You ever thought about producing? Man, I, I tried. It's just not for me, man. I don't have to. I'm, I'm like jittery. I like moving around too much. That's how I am. You know. Man. So I mean, I can, I can do it. I can do it. Like you know, uh, shout out Ryan Harvey. They, uh, they really helped me. They gave me, you know, an insight into it, and you know, really like. Let me get a handle for the DAW, you know, like how to work, get my way through the DAW and stuff like that. But uh, that the engineering, like the the mixing and mastering, bro, I can I can help, I can mix pretty well. Like I know how to like move the move and get the sound I want, but it's like I just don't know the ins and outs, the deep deep. What you got to know in the 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 operating system, the DAWs. Yeah. This ain't you know I ain't I ain't got the patience for it. I just rather write. I'll be in the, I'll rather you you be doing that and then I'll be writing while you're doing that. You so. know. So how long you been making music? Man, probably like, like right, right about like six, seven years doing hip hop music. Fifteen years, twenty years doing just rap, you know, any kind of music. I've been in blues bands, like cover bands, you know, all sorts so of. What shit. What made you get into like hip hop music? It was fun, bro. I could do it on my own, and you know, I didn't have to depend on anybody else but me. And I, that's oh, shit. I think I'm clever enough to do it. You know what I mean, like. Yeah. You know, but it's just, I, I just enjoyed it. It's like something to touch me. You know what I mean? Like, I listen to that shit, you know, more than anything. You know, hip hop and stuff like that more than anything else. I like, you know, I'm a big boom bap. Boom bap and just like hip hop. You so know, like classic? Well, not uh, so much. I mean, uh, just, the, just the vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even somewhere classic. like up north. Up north, the west coast, you know, any, bro, I'm telling you, just anything, anything that's just like, you know, lyrical, like MC type shit. Okay. So yeah, I'm like, I'm, I like boom back, but then I like them 
So like so more lyrical like yeah like, like who lyrical who, like who yeah. you know? so like so my favorite artist you know this ain't even telling how lyric but like currency is one of my favorite artists okay uh, Larry June uh, big cool kids if you remember the cool kids you know yeah. Chuck English Mikey Rocks yeah. I, like those were kind kind of came up listening to a lot okay and then like of course like Eric B Rock him and then you know like uh, I can see how it in your style too yeah I and then, but I like then I then I like E forty mm -hmm. and now you know uh, you know, Mac Dre, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, you know, even the West Coast rappers, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm not, I'm not really like stuck on one thing. Cause if you listen to music I got out, it like ranges, like it, yeah. it kind of ranges what I, what I really be. Yeah, I, be I know, on. but you yeah. know, we, we do it. Yeah, what I've been so, touching on. So I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of eclectic cause I say, I say all that, but then you can, you listen to like the other music I listen to. You know, I listen. I I still be listening to like some punk rock shit. Okay. I still be listening to some like metal shit because I got friends that you know, growing up the different music I made. I got friends that make different music or listen to different music. Right. So I mean, it can be ranges from like you know, Led Zeppelin to so Korn. Why you didn't Why you didn't jump in that lane? I I did. So you do that too? I mean, well, not now. I mean, but I like but growing up. Sure. You know, my first experiences was being in bands. Okay. And stuff like that, and I I rapped in the bands too. Like I you know. I you know I stopped I, I stopped being a drummer in one, so because I wanted to be the front man for us. Okay. And then I ended up moving away, and that just kind of fell through. That was back in you know just around after high school and shit. And then I was playing in like blues bands, covering like Eric Clapton and Stevie Ray Vaughan and shit like that, where I was drumming and shit. Okay. And then going back to high school was just jazz, like learning all them swing beats, just swing patterns. So do you like do you like rapping or singing the most? It just depends, man. It just depends on what the message is, you know. Because okay. I mean, I, I like singing, but I'm not that good at singing. I, I you know, I, you know, I, I feel like it's a muscle. You gotta like flex your muscle, and work it out to get yeah, good. You know what I mean? So I mean, I've been trying. I've been, yo, I've been trying to, I've been, yo, I've been gotta, trying to get, I've been trying to get get my chops up, but you know, I'm still not there. You know, I got, I got your own. Yeah, I know. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. and that was when that was when <laughs> I was starting to just kind of branch out and be singing because yeah. I really wasn't singing like that. Until you, like, you know, before you got on, like, before yeah. I'd done one song where I sang, you know what I mean? And, and it was like a little love R&B song, you know, with the vampire. Oh, so, so my song was, was like, like one of the first ones, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's what's, up. That's what's up. So. And then I got, like, that song Smoosion where it's kind of like rapping and singing all in one. It's kind of like, you know, I've got, I'm like singing over my raps and stuff, you know what I mean? It's a little different. Y'all check that out. Sounds like a Tuesday. It's just a little two banger. Tape. I think that's lame, man. I think that's lame, but like you gotta be the verse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the verse by yourself, like the different shit, try different shit. You know, oh yeah, know? and only take one. On you know me, what I'm saying to get on and only take one. That one song, and I feel like. And I don't be like you know you know me like I be I, I be kicking it with different people, but I'm not I'm not I'm not no like. Gangster, so I'm not rapping about nothing like that. I don't do. I'm rapping about me waking up in the morning and making some eggs or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or waking up. I ain't no wrong with that though. No, that's, that's, what what I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, ain't nothing. I ain't trying to be hard. It's not like I'm going. You know, like that's what I feel like. People when I say I rap, like I have to be explaining. I'm like, nah, man. I'm not just. I'm not out here rapping just like talking about diamonds and shit because I ain't got no diamonds. I got a little little braid to see dance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but people will tap into, yeah. you know what I'm saying, what they can relate to. Oh, yeah, and of course. you going to get criticized if you rapping or singing yeah. about some shit that you ain't go through. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. But I feel like singing is a variety because you could go, like, you could touch on so many oh, yeah. topics like oh, singing. Me. And people, I'm trying, man. It's just melody. Yeah, it's just, get your melodies now, Mo. It's just, it's just uh, you know, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, move, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get like right now. I'm trying to get in with like the the producers that I'll be working with, to just have them, you know, be have a like a, a rapport with them, so I can get so I have like consistent like a consistent sound, because that's been my issue. Like I've been sticking with certain producers, but it's like sometimes I just don't I don't have access to them, or they not working right now, or they just don't have something that I want, and so I'm trying to just get producers around me and engineers and stuff that I so I can like, yeah. you know. Get that sound. Get, a, get a certain sound that yeah. I want because I just I don't like going like I and being having a rapport with them in since like uh, that's not what I'm looking for I mean like and being able to work and not and not be like a be taken like a personal you know what I mean like it's not that you know I because 
I'll be hearing stuff. And I'll come. I'll do something. And I'll hear it back. I'll hear it off the rough draft and be playing it over and over, over and over, like lift, trying to find something that you know needs to change. And I'll sometimes I'll just be like, man, I, this ain't it. Like we need to hit it back. I, I need to come with a different energy or something. Yeah. And then not be like a personal matter because I ain't trying to like just get free work out you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you gotta want to work with me. Yeah. Also, that's good though that yeah. you're able to critique yourself. Yeah. A lot of people just put anything out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't follow up. I would just, so that's good. Well, I mean, I just have, you know, I'll be putting out music and I'll be in a rush because I want to put it out or I haven't put something out in a minute or like, you know, it's just, I'll be like, oh man, I'm feeling it. I want to drop something. I want to drop something. And then I'll, I won't go through the due diligence and I'll hit, you know, I'll drop it. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, I'll be like, damn, I could have hit this a little bit better. You know, I could have. I could have added, there need, you know, this spot right here could have used some, like, you know, some, like, overlay or this, you know, something in the background or some ad lib or something. What you working on now? I got a, I got a, a tape, uh, Family Hella Flavored. It's a little four-piece. It's about done. I've got it. It's just in the, it's just in the engineer phase. It's in the uh, mastering down right now. And I just need a verse from uh, my homeboy, you know, Desmond J. And that's locked up. That's I got the art. I got everything ready to go as soon as it's it's done and it's coming out. I got a song I've been passing around. So if you if you get on my uh get on my uh socials, any of my socials, drop your email and I'll send you one of the tracks. I'll link it to you. And you can have one of the tracks that's done, ready you to go. On, uh, all platforms? No. No. Not well I, I will eventually. So I'm uh I'm I'm dropping some merchandise and you'll be able to get like a hoodie and the tape. And stickers and some un other unreleased, a uh, couple of more unreleased, a little bit more unreleased okay. music, all with that for like sixty bucks. Okay. I'm just if you want to tap, or you can get the tape. You just donate some money to me, and I'll send you the tape over email, or I'll drop off a flash drive. Hey, merch is the way, man. But yeah, I just want you to like, if you really fuck merch with me, I want you to fuck with me because it's like I just I've got more I've got more like response out of me just sending my music to people than putting it on streaming platforms. I know I get streamed, but it's not crazy amounts, so. It's, I'd rather like I'd rather just kind of get both. a bug. Yeah, I Do will eventually drop. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna drop both. something. I got something I'm dropping. Like I got four, like I got other shit in the work that that I'm gonna drop on platforms. But it's just not that tape. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like so, I just want I'm trying to just you know see who fucking with me and who want to be you know you know. That's good. Don't you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, it, it'll, it'll get dropped on platforms eventually. But I want to do some. I'm doing a DIY. You know, I'm gonna shoot some DIY videos, like behind the scene type shit. And I'm just gonna do it all that way. And I'm just gonna put forth all my effort and see what I can get out of that. Just out of what I put out. I made the merch too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you already? I made a hoodie. Already, man. Yeah, we, we link up. All right. You mentioned your, your partner, De Desmond J. Yes, sir. Okay. What's the What's the group name? Uh, Chico Spells. It's uh, Ugly Boys. Uh, it's just I don't, you know we we. we I see y'all going, you know I keep my ear to the street, yeah. man, so you know, that's what I had to bring in. I see y'all going crazy, man, y'all doing shows everywhere. Yeah, like I said, man, well. What's that, the feedback, like? Bro, uh, fucking moms love us, bro, I don't know what it is, like, it's ugly boys, bro, we just pull up, and he's he's different style than me, uh -huh. and I'm different than him, and we just be putting songs together, and they just be hitting this, some hip-hop shit, like, our last tape was uh, Blown. It's on, it's on all streaming platforms. It's a little three. We we've been dropping three pieces, just you know, once a year, and uh, and maybe a couple singles. Um, but we've got that, and it's just a smoking tape. So if you like smoking, you know, it, it kind of throws you back to how high and and, uh, and half baked. You know, we use some we use some uh, snippets from that shit, but it's just about getting high, and getting stoned, and That's what's up. you know. So, but then uh, the, the first tape we dropped was kind of more hip hop shit. And it's just, you know, it's self titled Chico's Fails, Ugly Boys. And it's just, you know, kind of entrance to how we are, you know. Right. But it's just, it's hip hop. It's some hip hop stuff. I wouldn't call it boom bad, but it's kind of like, it's a little East Coast, Midwest ish. Some, it's some cool shit. It's a, and I, everything that we got on that's all, all, from, all from Tulsa. It's all Tulsa produced. We ain't, we ain't left the state for nothing. That's what's up. All right, let's switch it up. Who you rely on support? What do you mean? For what? How you want to take it? Man, shit, my family, my homies, whatever, bro. Like me, you know what I'm saying? Like just the people I got in my corner, man. Like my mom for sure. My mom, like my mom, be support. She don't like none of the shit that I. I mean, she do. 
but she know this this ain't her like her lifestyle her like she don't but she be yeah. she be fucking with me man like oh, you know I go out there and they got charcuterie boards when I pull up they got a charcuterie board just because I be rapping about charcuterie yeah they're like we think it's so funny that she be rapping about charcuterie but maybe you know, like <laughs> they'll, they'll just sit down and wait for me to eat the charcuterie you know what I mean I'll pull up my mom like I got some. You know, I got some cheap champagne on the fridge for you. Know, I'm like, I'm like tight. You know what I mean? Like, That's what's up. Because she just hey. like thinks it's funny. I'll be rapping about that shit. Support go a long way. Though. I know, man. Like what I'm saying, man. It's hard when you like. I always tell my fuckers like, does your grandma know you a rapper? Who my grandma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there's motherfuckers grandmas don't know yeah. they rapping. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know that they out here saying those shit on track. Everybody in my family know. Yeah, yeah they, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah. there's a there's a there's a the dudes out here that they you know. You gotta decide. Yeah, you gotta. You, gotta, you gotta, gotta decide. Like you gotta be. You gonna be a rapper. You gonna yeah. be this. And if you if you hiding it, is you really doing what you supposed to be doing? Right. Oh, is you living the lifestyle? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's so like, if you if you really doing, you know, what family you gonna tell you. Yeah, the family gonna tell you like. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you ain't really doing. <laughs> yeah, you ain't really doing that, man. So you need to shut your little ass up. <laughs> But like no, nah, everything I rap about, like the only thing I have, like my grandma, even my grand, you know, my grandparents know. But like they, I remember the first time I played this music, I said like, these mother, oh, I said, uh, I said most of these motherfuckers checking their watch while I'm busy on the job trying to get to the guap. Yeah. And she's like, oh my god, motherfuckers! And I'm like, <laughs> like, I don't think that's, I think it's the first time my grandma heard me say motherfucker. Like, yeah. <laughs> and that was like other than that, like. But yeah, no family support from my friend, family, my friend, my homies. Fuck with, fuck with my shit. I don't, you know, I, I, I keep a tight, pretty tight circle. But you know, if you fucking with me, fucking with me, so you know, it's a bet we gonna eat. You like performing, I'm making music. What you like? Oh most? man, lately both. Like I've just kind of been getting more and more into performing, just because it's like it's one, it's a way to like push your shit, like for sure. Like if you feeling yourself, other motherfuckers yeah. gonna feel you. So I've been just trying to get my chops up performing and being able to do more performing wise. That's what's up. But I always like being in the studio, man, because I mean I like writing for people too, you know. Because I mean, if I can't, if I can't, I, sometimes I'd be saying some clever shit. And I'm like, that ain't that ain't for me. But if, you know, yeah. I'll be writing shit down just in case we get in somewhere and someone need a hook or something like that. You know what I mean? Or anything. But I like I like being in the right, studio. We gotta get back in there. I, I need mean, some hooks. I mean, I've been on my, I've been on my game. You gonna like the shit? I, I'll play some. Uh, I'll play you a couple of tracks a little later. All right. And but uh, yeah, you. I think you like the shit that I'm about to drop that I've been working on. But how you handle frustration, man? Man, frustration and just like in general or yeah, smoking, yeah, or just. Get busy in some, you know what I mean? Get busy in something else. If something frustrates me, I just sometimes you just gotta drop it and go into something else for a minute. And return. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just gotta drop it, leave it where it is, and then come back to it. And cause it, sometimes you man, you can't you can't just let something just fuck your whole day up. Yeah. And I'm I, you know, so I'm smoking, notorious. So smoking is But yeah, but smoking don't suck all the time. Sometimes smoking be just getting you deeper and deeper into that yeah. thought. So I mean sometimes you just gotta you gotta know what you want. Y'all know what you're smoking on and just and then know yourself a little bit. Like, hey, we in a legal state too for, you know what I'm saying? They just passed it where we got dispensaries, so. Yeah, yeah, we legal. So you got a, what? You got a favorite strain? Uh, man, I, I, like, I just like, man, I like some gas, you know? It's like some like, you know, some like OG tasting and shit, you know what I mean? Like, but I ain't got no favorite strain. It's just, I like, I like if it tastes good. I like the terpenes. Okay. But. No, nah, man, I like I dabs too. I be on that that uh, hash rosin, the live hash rosin. But that shit don't calm. I mean, sometimes that shit don't calm you down. But man, just staying busy, trying to stay busy, not stay, you know, not staying, you know, what do they say? The, the idle hands, the devil playground. Yeah. Same thing with your thoughts. You know, that's what they talk about. Like just not letting your frustrations and your thoughts take you over. So, what you saying next? Are you religious? Nah. Well, I used to be. Not so much anymore. I mean, I believe in a higher power, but I don't know what's out there, bro. I used to be a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. I used to be out there knocking on doors, slanging, yeah. slanging, yeah, slanging Bible scriptures. You know what I mean? Okay. Out there slipping and sliding in them slick ass Stacey Adams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out. Hey, hey, this is a uh, judge free. You know what I'm saying? Platform. Whatever you believe in, that's what you believe in. You want if you're a Jehovah Witness, you want to come sit down and talk. We can talk. Yeah. But 
When they used to come knocking on the door at my grandma's house, man, I used to shut the door. Oh, shit. I don't blame, brother. <laughs> hey, I ain't I, I, I I fucking talking to them right now. They ain't talking to me. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, no, this was bad. It's just, I ain't you know dog, what I'm saying? Hey, no, I mean, I, being in that, though, I got, I'm, you know, I can talk to anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just being, you know, like, being out there, you know, they throw you out there and you got to talk to motherfuckers about, the, you know, the Bible on Sunday morning, Saturday morning. You know, after they fucking hung over in the morning. So I asked because, you know, I right, pick back on that with the Jews, the uh, Jewish community. Are you Jewish? No. Okay. I'm I, gonna, I, try, I don't know. I mean, but like, man, they they living pretty good right now. Yeah. That, <laughs> you know, everybody right you, now, too. We guess the tie in. Yeah. So, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What we're talking about. Then you see what's going on with, with Yay. How you feel about that? He going about it like the Joe's Witnesses, man. He talking, he talking crazy. <laughs> but I mean, he, I mean, listen. He, if you want to get deep in what he's saying, yeah, he's got, he's got points. But you, you got to be able to make your points and get the fuck out of there, right? And not sound like, like you're crazy, because then the, the, they, they ain't nobody gonna believe you. You know what I'm saying? Like, or they just gonna, they just gonna chop it up to being crazy, so yeah. You know, and there's motherfuckers that don't aren't gonna listen to you anyway. Is crazy a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I mean, if then what drove them crazy, man? What drove them crazy? So I mean, then, then you gotta think like majority of geniuses, they say was crazy. How many gen? How many of these geniuses though? You know, you look back in the history, of time. How many geniuses got to even live, fulfill their whole life though? Right. And didn't die, didn't die early, you know. Right. Even like in the sixties, fifties, you know, Tesla didn't make it long. You know, right. and they, you know, I mean, he and they, they made him sound crazy. And yeah. then we using his technology. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like you know in the saying? moment, in the moment. Well, see, he that, that's where he going crazy at. He's trying, he make, he's trying to say, oh, I'm like this. I'm like so and so. I'm like, I'm like Martin Luther. I'm because like Dr. He's Max, looking, I'm like this. Yeah, he looking, which he shouldn't do, but. Over time, he just pointed out like these people in their moment they was called crazy. Yeah. But over time, you look back and then it's like okay. That's but it crazy. sounds like he like called. But he he it just it sounds like he calling himself that. You know, he's saying I'm this or I'm this or I'm that. And it's like when man, you Kanye, you you Kanye, and yeah. then you should just be waiting to be Kanye right. or yay or whatever Jesus or yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Because if you if you fulfilling something and that's what you're supposed to be doing, you can't be willing. You can't be out here telling like pro- prophecy or whatever is you know it happened. You know what I mean? Like you can't just keep being like yes, yeah, so I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, and not let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, I fuck with Ye's music, so I can't. I, I hate to see what he going through because I've listened to Ye for forever. Yeah. I fuck with him too, but I think he just gotta articulate though. You know exactly. I think that's what it is. Exactly. All right, what you most grateful for, man? Man, shit, any of the love that I get, man, any kind of love that I get, it's rare, you know. It's, people don't take advantage and don't appreciate the love that they be getting, and and they always seeing what they don't got and stuff like that. I'm just happy I got the love and the support I got. You know what I mean? I I'm just thankful for that shit. Cause I could have nobody on my side. I could have nobody to call when I'm down. I got plenty of people I can call on. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm hella thankful for that. Cause shit, I could be somewhere. You know, I, I don't. You know, I could be somewhere else right now doing something else if I didn't have all the all the people I got in my corner. Enjoy your game. How you come? How you come up with the name, man? Man, I was just going by my name for the longest time, like just Joe, J O E. Yeah. And. And uh, people started just people was calling. And I, I started when in, in some of my raps, I was I'd be like J O and just leave the E out. Yeah. And so people were like, Did you spell your name? Why do you say J O? It's J O E. And I'm like, I don't even. I mean, it just sounds good. Like yeah. I, you know, it's Joe still. Yeah. Like and so then I was like J O. I don't know. One day I was just like sitting there and I started rapping. I said Joey Organic or Joey Hello Organic, something like that. And I was like, oh, that sounds tight. Yeah. And I kind of sat on it for like a couple years, just not even using it. Yeah. And, uh, and I fought with the name, man. Yeah, and then I and then like uh, I fought with the name. And, like Steph Simon started calling me Joey Orange Juice, and yeah. and so like just kind of shit started ran like you know just stuff started kind of building into. It. I was just like I kind of was sitting on it, and kind of had just like kind of you know just the the idea, and so I kind of just made the switch. 
probably like five, four or five years ago. And it started going with it. And it took off. Like, fuck, and you know, everybody. It's crazy because I'll be, I'll introduce myself or some, they'll ask me who I, you know, people ask me what my name is and all this. And I'm like, Joey, oh, well, I heard you. And I'm like, I, like, it's just a familiar name. I feel like yeah. it is because I hear that. And I'm like, I know you ain't heard of me. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know man. but I'm going to be saying yeah. that. I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I fuck with that. You know, yeah, yeah. I heard of you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's all we got. Oh, yeah. That's all we popping. I, yeah. I, I look back on it. Yeah. I'm like, damn. So, it. so motherfuckers, they probably. You know what I'm saying? After a while. So, but yeah. Yeah, my boy, it's crazy, man. I forget that I got I got quite a few features. I kind of forget about because I just, I had more features than I had like solo shit for the longest time. And so I went, I, I, I went back on my, like where, uh, you know, my, I guess it's my Spotify and like look back on all the, you know, like the, the yearly report. And I was yeah. like, your art shit was boom. And I was yeah. like, God damn. Like, yeah. went back a couple of years. You know, yeah. it was like two, what, two years ago? Yeah. And that shit pop, popping on, on uh, YouTube, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, I ran it back, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm down with it. I'm down with it. All right. Hardest decision you had to make? Hardest decision? Man. Leave it like just go go getting away from you know the like the religion I was in, you know whether that was a good you know because it was you know I was you know I was sheltered I wasn't having a good time you know what I mean I was just like kind of just going through life and I was still doing music I was still doing that's, shit that's what you grew up in yeah and so I was like it was just kind of you did know you everything studied those like did yeah you study them yeah the origins and all that well that's what that's where kind of why you know what made me kind of decide to leave. It, like the origins of it, and all you know. Once I started digging, digging into it and stuff like that, but just live it was a it was a way of life. You know what I mean? It's all my friends were there, yeah. wearing that, and you know, like. But it was just one of the things, like. And I kind of, you know, I was you know smoking weed and selling weed and whatnot, and just and it was just everything I was doing was I was like it was like I had two lives, and I just didn't like that shit. And so I was like, man, fucking, this is, I'm happier doing this shit. I'm happier in this, in this situation. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna like go make a better move for myself. And then, you know, have, most of my family ain't in it now either. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, it, it's. So now it's more spiritual than. Yeah, it's more spiritual than being like being around, like being doing stuff for face value. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, you know, you still like, I still you know, pray. I still like meditate. I still like, you know, look for you know research or, or advice and stuff like that. Like it just it can be found in different places. It don't got to be in the Bible. It don't got to be in the Quran. It don't got to be in this. It's just, all these things are available to us, like the library. Just because you like yeah. this book and this author, don't mean you got to you got to only even, read that author. Like you ain't gonna with, just read Harry Potter, bro. Even with like the Bible, you you still need other books to help you yeah. even to interpretate interpretate that. And also inside the Bible, it tell you to go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, look at this book. If people really read, you know what I'm saying, yeah. paying attention. I think like, I think like religion is uh, somewhat man-made. You know what I'm saying? When you connect spiritual spirituality and you tap deep into the meaning of yourself and, yeah. and a higher power. <clears throat> what I think like, well, it's you know it's, it gives hope to people that don't have necessarily have anything to believe in or they lost all hope you know it, can, it gives you something to hold on to with something you know like you you know hopeless you are when a family member dies like a mom mm -hmm. a dad a brother sister gives you something to hold on to for comfort and stuff like that but then it also controls you in the sense like if you don't be if you're not good you're not going to see them in, the, in heaven mm -hmm. you're not going to see them or you're going to go to hell yeah you go to so if you don't do this and do that you're going yeah, to go hell. both ways yeah. some people uh will be uh Believe and then they'll, they'll turn on. Yeah, that was they'll they'll turn on it. Yeah, I ain't gonna say they'll turn on them. They'll turn on them because they'll be like, well, well, I got let this person pass yeah. away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. So that's all. It's basically like mental health. Yeah. How you feel about that? Shoot, sure, man, do what's healthy for you, man. Like just if you talk to people, talk to people, man. Like I don't, I don't, I really don't, I don't have. I can't say I understand, man, because I don't have, like, like I have, like, you know, I have my own issues, depression, shit to work through, but I don't have any kind of extremeness. So, I mean, 
I can't say that I understand anybody that's going through that, but all I can say is that, man, you, you got people that care about you and love you. Reach out, man, or say something. Sometimes it just, you know, takes a, you know, just conversation. Re- a conversation. And, they, you know, the other person don't really got to know. Just reach reach for conversation, man. People want to talk more than you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I believe me, I'll be out and about. Me and motherfuckers want to talk. Yeah. So don't mind. <laughs> don't mind. <laughs> motherfuckers want to talk. So yeah. talk to them, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, women, biggest turn on. Biggest turn on for women. Man, just confidence, doing what they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Biggest turn off. Biggest turn off. Man, not having shit to do. <laughs> not having shit to do. Like if you just, if you 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 about if you just got the news or whatever, like the. You know, you following the the trends and that's all you got or whatever. I don't know. Like some bitches ain't got shit to do and they just they live through everybody. You know what's going on in the media. You know what I'm saying or what's what's cracking. They don't got real no real interest. You know. Why well, females? You yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not having like a, a, their own real interest. You know, like having something to do. Like man, you don't gotta have like a hobby. You don't gotta be making music or doing something crazy, but how to kind of do something, have something that you like to do other than like eat hot fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumping on social media. like Yeah, just jumping on social of, media and doing shit like, you know. That's some type of goal. Or the, yeah. Be doing yeah. something. Have some, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you don't, I don't know. I don't know. Females are, you know, you know, get the benefit of the doubt with me, though, most of the time, <laughs> you know, so I mean, like, they kind of, but, you know, it's, I don't know, yeah, just not having an interest. Best three words to describe you. Uh, damn. Who's <laughs> <laughs> here? Yeah. A I bad, a bad <laughs> mama jamma. <laughs> the cat's pajamas. <laughs> The bees knees, <laughs> the bees knees, yeah. Bees knees, yeah. I know this girl. She had uh, tattoos on her knees. That was bees. bees. <laughs> She's like bees knees. I don't know how that looked, man. Some of you regret. Some I regret. Man, anything you re- regret on this journey, man. So far. Hmm. Man, man, I don't know. I can't say. I mean, I, I like to say I regret some th- shit, but I want you know, this shit wouldn't have been the same if I didn't make those decisions. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I can't. I don't know. Just fucking with certain people. I mean, I I don't want to like put a, a whole ass stamp on nobody but I just fucking with certain people believing in certain some certain people and you know putting stock in people and then not and then it being not being what it was but other than that I mean you know you gotta make them ain't what standing on their word or some shit you know when you ride for motherfuckers who ain't ride for you yeah. you know what I mean when you when you find out when you were being riding for them and you find out that they ain't going they ain't ready to do nothing for you yeah. and you just like man you've been calling me or you you've been asking me or talking to me but then I'm, you need some. You been. You need some. We need some from you, or I need some from you, and this. I need like just some some support. You know what I mean? Some backup, anything like, and it just don't. You know, it ain't there. But you been riding for them, so it's like that's probably my biggest regret is not seeing that kind of shit. But you know, if I don't go through that, then I ain't really. I don't see the signs for that now. You know. Yeah. But I, don't, I can't say I got like any serious regrets, cause man, like they those those mistakes and those those things that you regret really or what helps you not do shit again. Yeah, that's lessons. Yeah, so I mean, lessons I, in life. I, 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 you know, maybe I regret not <laughs> getting into more trouble. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah, that nah. shit costs. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, life is serious. That shit costs. That shit costs for real. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I need a verse, man. First of all, give me, give me where you at, man. Give me your 
All your information is fine. Joey, Joey Organic on Facebook. Joey underscore Organic on uh, Instagram. Spill Champagne. Joey Organic on Twitter. Uh, you can, Joey Organic on streaming platforms. Chico's Fails on streaming platforms. It's Ugly Boy Gang. We got merch for that. I got merch coming out. Like I said, uh, January, I'm going to be having a Family Hella Flavor, the FHF tape, which is going to be, I'm going to have uh, this hoodie uh, with the tape, with uh, with some, you know, with some uh, extra, like, unreleased shit. Um, and I might even put a couple Rough Shock songs that ain't never going to see the light of day on there. Uh other than y'all, uh, you, you're going to get the sweater, the tape, and some stickers for, for 60 bucks. You're going to be tapping in. You're going to be, you know, you do that. I need the hoodie. And you're going to, like, you do that, you're going to get a mailing list, and you're going to get unreleased music before it comes out as well. So, all that shit. So, you just kind of, you just kind of, just if you fucking with me, you just showing that you fucking with me if you do that. But I'm going to have that tape coming out, too. That's going to be just, you're going to donate if you want the tape. If you don't want the sweater, you just, I'm, all you, you just got to shoot me something on Cash App. Just show that you appreciate me. And you'll get the tape, whether it's email, whatever, and you'll get everything that came with the other shit. But yeah, that's what's up. That's what's coming up, though. That's what's up. Who you rocking with in the town right now? Bruh, uh, shit. Now, who you fuck with? Man, uh, you know, Desmond J. We got the Vampire Youth. Uh, shit, Lovelace. Man, he's, doing, he's doing a show with us at the end of the month. Uh, man, I really fuck with um, J Rob. J. Rob the Law. Uh, let's see, man. My, you know, the dudes that, that been producing some of my shit. Uh, you know, DJ No Name. Uh, you know, Steph Simon, of course. Uh, Kim Olajuwon. I fuck with them. I fuck with you, of course. Um, oh yeah, uh, Young DV. He be killing it. I be fucking Young DV super heavy. Uh, Shout out DV. Yeah. Man, DV no, he, got, he, we got some shit. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a real Hey, man, show. you need to come sit down, too. Yeah. Hey, shit. Hey. I'm trying to... <laughs> he's a Rams fan. We, we playing tomorrow night, so we've been talking shit. Both our teams ain't shit to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, we, was, we supposed to get together and watch a game because we both thought we had Super Bowl dreams. Yeah. Those ain't around yeah. no more, but... But, yeah, uh, man. I, there's a lot of people, man. It's, I fuck with a lot of people. Uh, out of town looking to you. You think... You think it's it's up on the on the rise? Like what what has I think the I think the uh the lanes are gonna start to get carved out and how to make a way. You know what I mean? I right. think there was just so many this, you know, people bum rushing trying to get in different ways and they're starting to become become more avenues and branches and pipelines. You know, Ayilla doing doing it big. Yeah. She just dropped that shit with DJ Drone uh, yeah. this weekend. That's it. She did that That's on, hard. and she did that on the low key. She yeah. she went on talking nothing on social media. Yeah. She was out there doing like she going out of town doing shows, making you know making connections. And bro, I think that yeah, is super hard. I'm impressed with that. You know what I mean? Like same with with uh, Gang Time June. He he found a way. Yeah. You know, there's different avenues. So people breaking up. Yeah, I mean, like you know, so then you got then you got Steph Simon and, and the World Culture doing what they doing, and you know they've been they've been cool with me. They've been you know Steph Steph put you know has put me in positions, uh, you know, and he's passed my name around, you know, in the past. So I appreciate all them too. So, so there's a lot of people I fuck with that have shown love that you know didn't Steph, necessarily have to. Steph, we didn't talk. You gotta come sit down with me. Your name sure. keep being brought up. <laughs> Hey, shit, that's Dick, Dicky Rowe, you know what so, I mean? He's going to get brought up, man. He's been doing it. He's been doing it. Uh, verse, one of my favorites. The first verse, one of my favorites, man. And uh, uh, Surround the Seventh, man. He just dropped a tape that's fucking crazy. So I find there's a lot of people in the town that I'll be fucking with that be doing shit. Surround be, he be, he be writing for people and shit. He be writing, he's a, you know, that shit's crazy. There's different avenues. You don't got to be the star. Yeah, you don't you get out of town like Mickey Ronay doing yeah. shit to us crazy. She was from here and she's down in Atlanta. She be doing crazy shit. Like, I be watching her on TikTok booming, doing big things, you know what I mean? Like, what's up. She getting placements and, you know, movies and shows. I think that's dope. You know, yeah. you don't got to be on the radio yeah, to get hard. heard. Yeah. So, yeah, town's, town's making waves, you know what I mean? Like, there's the, you know, just be, just oh, be. It's, look, it's looking hopeful. Yeah, shit. It's looking hopeful. That's what's up. Just know that you ain't gonna make three, four, or five songs and pop off. Of course not. 
You gotta put the work in. Yeah, there's there's work. You know, you can't you can't want the you can't want the product and not do the work for it. All right, man. What you got for me? Everybody that come on here, that's an artist, man. What you want? I, I need oh, something, hurts? man. I need right. something. Shit. I definitely ain't the best. I ain't never claimed to be. Just an average Joe. They doubt and overlook. Underestimated me. But shit, I ain't tripping. If you're with me, then you're with me. It's a bet we gon' eat. Yeah, I am what I am, and that's all I'm gonna be. Little spinach, olive oil, vinaigrette, body cheese. Rib by reverse here. Lemonade, fresh squeeze. Family, hella flavor, hella flavor on our jeans. Yeah, they say they've been eating, but they fit in skinny jeans. Jay, you're well fed, big boy, your main squeeze. Yeah. A bad man pajama, cat's pajamas. Yeah, you know the bee's knees. Organic when it comes to the flavor. <laughs> Professional taster, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker couldn't hold a light to me. Cool, calm, collected, patient, hella sweet. That's me, Joe Organic. Appreciate it, man. Already. Anything you want to tell people before we get up out man, of here? Man, just tap in. Tap in. Tap in to me. Tap in to anybody in the town, man. Everybody. I know. I know. Everybody I'll be, that fuck with me, I fuck with them. You might find me on some shit. I know there's, uh, you know, I, I just got on an album with a dude named A Slade. He be rocking out. He's like, he plays guitar, got a band. I fuck with him. I'm on his tape. I'm on his tape. I'm on, uh, I'm on a bunch of shit. Just look me up. That's all I ask. Just look me up. Give me a chance. Man, appreciate it, man. Joy Organic. Tap in.